Today, the U.S. Army confirmed that a Trump aide did indeed push an Arlington National Cemetery employee as she tried to enforce the rules, making this the latest gaffe in Donald Trump's long and horrific record of disrespect toward U.S. troops and veterans. That includes saying that John McCain, who spent five years in captivity as a POW, was no war hero because, quote, he was captured. Calling Americans who died in wars suckers and losers. Minimizing the traumatic brain injuries troops, tr troops excuse me, suffered in a missile strike as headaches. And saying that the Medal of Freedom, a civilian award, is much better than the Medal of Honor because service members who receive this top military honor are often gravely wounded or dead. Today, when asked about his role in this week's incident at Arlington National Cemetery and his campaign capitalizing on the images of Section 60, Trump tried to reclaim the narrative yet again, but it didn't go so well. Should your campaign have put out those videos and photos? Well, we have a lot of people. You know, we have people, TikTok people, you know, we're leading the Internet. That was the other thing. We're so far above her on the but internet. But on that hallowed ground, should that they have put well, out the I don't know the what the rules and regulations are. I don't know who did it. And I, it could have been them. It could have been the parents. It could have been somebody. It was your campaign's TikTok, though, okay. that put out the video. I really don't know anything about it. All I do is I stood there and I said, if you'd like to have a picture, we can have a picture. If somebody did it, this was a setup by uh, the people in the administration that, oh, Trump is coming to Arlington. That looks so bad for us. You Oh, wait, wait, wait. Trump is now saying that his campaign's photo op was a setup? Joining me now is MSNBC Pentagon correspondent Courtney Kuby. Courtney, thanks so much for getting us started this evening. You obtained the rules, the rules and the regulations that Arlington National Cemetery put forth to be able to be present there and specifically dealing with Section 60. I mean, it seems pretty clear that there was a violation of those rules. Yeah, I mean, the rules are simple. It is that, number one, there is no allowance. You are never allowed to have a campaign event or any kind of campaign uh, partisan event that happens on Arlington National Cemetery grounds. It's simply not allowed. Now, this is where this got a little bit gray, Katie, and that is the fact that former President Trump was invited to this wreath laying event by the families of several of the service members who were killed at Abbey Gate three years ago. And he was there in his capacity as the former president of the United States. Now, for that reason, he was allowed to be there to participate with the families in the memorial event. He was allowed to have official photographers and videographers at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. That's actually pretty common. There's, there's frequent media coverage there. You frequently see video and photos of that. That, that part was, was not at issue here. After that event, though, Katie, they moved on to Section 60, the motorcade, and several of the family members of those fallen service members, and that's where this incident occurred. Now, the rules are very clear. You are not allowed to have videographers or photographers at Section 60 uh, collecting any kind of images, but not just that. You cannot... Anything that you you that any uh, anyone does there, whether they're the it's the staff for pres former President Trump, none of the video or content that they collect is allowed to then be used in the capacity of his campaign. Though that's also very clearly written into the rules. But that it's the 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 issue here though is that's very difficult to enforce at the time. So what we've learned in the last 48 or the hours or so is that that was where this incident occurred. When some of the staff from the Trump uh, got out of the Trump motorcade to take photos and videos, one of the Trump staff members, when he was confronted by the Arl Arlington National Cemetery employee, telling them that they could not take photos and videos, the staff member then pushed that Arlington Cemetery um, employee. Now, the Army put out a statement today that is, frankly, more forceful than we will te we tend to hear from them. And it was clearly in defense of this Arlington Cemetery staff member saying that she acted professionally, really defending her actions here and saying that what she did was to maintain the dignity and the respect of the, those hallowed grounds, as you called them, Katie. You know, Courtney, there is something very specific, though, about Section 60. Can you briefly describe why this particular area of Arlington is actually of note and why there really is a focus about the physical altercation that happened there? 
Yeah, so so Section 60 is, it is, I, I don't mean to imply that any part of Arlington Cemetery is mm -hmm. not uh, is not considered hallowed ground, but it's the place where many of the service members who have died or been killed in the recent conflicts are buried. That's why one of the service members that we see the photo of President, former President Trump standing at is one of the service members who was killed in, in Afghanistan in 2021. So it, it has taken on even more of a, uh, a, a, a there, are, there are even stricter rules there for taking photos and videos. And just so our audience understands ex exactly why that is, the, the staff at Arlington Cemetery and the Department of the Army in general, they want to make sure that people aren't there taking photos of mourners. They want to protect mm. the dignity and the privacy of people who might be there who are still in a very very real mourning situation who may have lost loved ones in, in recent years. And they don't want to they want to make sure that they are not in any way exploited. So it's not just campaigns or anything. It's media, media restrictions about what you can and cannot take video and photos of at Section 60 are extremely strict and they are very strongly enforced and they have been for some time. That's one of the reasons that this has really had so much outcry because of the fact that they were standing on the grave of individuals who had been killed in, or died in very recent years. Again, people are still very actively mourning these service members there. And then some of those photos were then released on social media. And as you mentioned, there was even some video that was used on it in a TikTok video for the campaign, Katie. Courtney, quickly before I got to let you go, though, we have not received any reporting um, that Trump himself or the Trump campaign has reprimanded or said anything about that Trump aide who physically assaulted an Arlington Cemetery employee, correct? Correct. And we do know that the military police were called right as soon after this, that, that incident, the pushing occurred and they came to the scene. They did take statements from at least one with, or more likely several of the Arlington Cemetery staffers who were there, who saw what happened, including the individual involved. They did approach some of the Trump staff members, but there was no formal statement given. And I will say in that statement that we got from the Department of the Army today, they said that the staff member has decided not to press charges, and they consider this matter closed. Katie. MSNBC Pentagon correspondent Courtney Kube, I really appreciate you taking the time to explain everything about what happened at Arlington with Donald Trump and your time tonight. Thank you for being here.